is an awesome show. Am I allowed to lie? All right, it's a great show. It's a great show. Uh, first of all, to know Istanbul and I better, we need to get the founder of Istanbul and I, Taymur Ashkan, on stage. He will tell us a little bit about uh, Yeah. Come on up, please. Thank you very much, Taymur. He did not know. Uh, just a clarification, I'm a co-founder. There are four others. So in case they're here and they can hear me, I don't want them to get upset. Okay. Um, yeah, so just a little bit of brief about our group. We're a volunteer youth organization, and we basically uh, coordinate with young people to launch their own social initiatives or social impact initiatives in Istanbul. Um, one of those is this comedy night right here. See you guys. So, our first comedian, Thomas, who knows Thomas? Yeah, a lot of people know Thomas. Thomas is American who speaks Arabic. Any part in the world, they always people speak their own language, then it's English. But what's, what's impressive about me, like, as I thought, was that I learned it by TV. But this is the thing, every time I meet someone new in a party or an event, because Thomas is, is like, everywhere, he always comes there as well. Like, for example, um, I was talking to this girl, she's from the US, and like, hi, my name is Omar, uh, I, I, I'm from Syria and I speak English, uh, English. She's like, oh wow, that's impressive. I'm like, thank you, thank you. And then Thomas passes by, and then I'm like, oh, you see that guy? He's American and he speaks Arabic. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. Get here, Thomas. Thomas comes here, and like, he always gets into the conversation, you know, and then she's like, uh, she turns out to be Iranian. She's like, I'm from Iran originally, and then he's like, ooh, Tsuboshi, Shukhalitsabot, and then Thomas starts speaking Iranian. And then she's like, it's like, oh, and Thomas is like, and they both start speaking Iranian. She's like, that's so impressive. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And then her friend comes along, and then she's like, oh, Thomas, and then her friend's like, oh, my God, and I'm standing there like, uh, well, I'm originally Kurdish, so, but, like, <laughs> he speaks like every language. <laughs> Where's Thomas? <laughs> Thomas, come here, please. Everybody give a clap for Thomas! <laughs> Woo! Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> howdy. Uh, I'm a Texan Muslim, that's how we say hi. Uh, who says assalamu alaikum and then immediately say howdy. Um, actually, Omar ruined my introduction because I was going to do, oh, I speak Arabic. Uh, now you know that, so that's worthless. Um, so, I'm a white boy. Um, I'm a Muslim white boy, and growing up a Muslim white boy was hard. Um, there were a lot of things that were hard, but specifically today, I want to talk about facial hair. Because it sucked for me. Because Muslims all over the world love a good beard. <laughs> Which was shit for me. Um, and I grew up in Texas, right? So in the mosque, I have Pakistanis. And I have Mexicans. Uh, do we have any Pakistanis and Mexicans in the house? Yeah? Well, make noise. Don't raise your hands. Any Pakistanis and Mexicans in the house? All right. I hate you guys. Because you guys got mustaches when you were 12. Right? And I had to wait another eight years for that. I was 20 when I got my mustache. My teenage hood. Past mustacheless. Okay, and that was horrible. And to put this into context for you, when I was growing up, because I grew up in the mosque, a good Muslim boy, and when I grew up, I wanted to become Hamza. Uh, if you know, Hamza was the prophet's uncle. And Hamza would wrestle lions. Okay, like this guy, this was his hobby. He would just casually wrestle lions. Yeah, it's his hobby. And I'm like, that's what I want to be when I grow up. I want to pray five times a day. I want to have a big, beautiful beard. And I want to wrestle lions. 
And now as an adult, I know only one of those three is even remotely possible for me, and it's probably Wrestling Lions. <laughs> the beard ain't happening, all right? It ain't happening. So this one day, I'm 16. I'm home alone. I'm sitting at my computer. This is not going where you think it is. Hot on. Hot on, Michael. We keep it hot out here, all right? So what was I doing? I was Googling how to get thicker facial hair, right? And um, I had what is called peach fuzz. Now, in English, we call baby hairs peach fuzz because the baby hairs of a white boy resembles the fuzz of a peach, right? So, while Googling, I came across this destructive cultural myth that if you shave your facial hair, it comes back thicker. Not true, okay? It's, it's, it's not true. So, I went to the restroom, I looked in the mirror, I got my dad's shaving cream, gone. It doesn't take long, I'm 16, all right? It was like a three second operation. Bam, gone. Like, yeah, I'm a new man. <laughs> yeah, just you wait. Went back down to the computer, I sat down, I started filling it more. I run back to the mirror. Ah! <laughs> I now know I was exaggerating, but in my mind, I looked awful. I looked like a naked mole rat. I looked like Voldemort. <laughs> from the Harry Potter movies. Right? And I told you, I'm not trying to be Voldemort. I'm trying to look like Dumbledore. Because <laughs> Dumbledore's got a nice Muslim beard. Uh, in the first movie, Dumbledore looked like he was Salafi. <laughs> Afterwards, I don't even know. Like, he's just beyond that. So, I'm freaking out. I run back to the computer. I Google. In hindsight, I probably should have Googled this beforehand, but whatever. YOLO. Uh, so I Google, what happens when you shave peach fuzz? <laughs> the top result says, there's a possibility upon shaving that it may never return. <laughs> I run back to the mirror. <laughs> An entire lifetime looking like he who must not be named. <laughs> so what did I do? I made dua. <laughs> I said, Yarabbi! <laughs> For the Turks, hey Yarabim! <laughs> grant me back. Because when one talks to Allah, you do not say give, you say grant. Like when you talk to a university. Grant me money. Grant me back my peach fuzz. I don't even want the mustache anymore. Just give me the peach fuzz. Grant me back my peach fuzz. And I will never shave it again. Allah granted it back to me. I never shaved it again. Never again. He held up his end of the bargain. I held up mine. It's the only time I bargained with Allah, by the way. I don't believe in it. It's not good. So, the other week... Uh, something happened to me that I never thought would happen. Uh, I was talking with a girl. That's it. <laughs> no, no. I always knew I'd eventually talk to a girl. 16 year old with a naked upper lip. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll talk to a girl one day. <laughs> That's the sound 16 year olds make. <laughs> um, so I was talking with this girl. Okay, I lie. Actually, I was flirting with her. Ooh, how um, <laughs> I said I was Muslim, I didn't say I was the best one. Um, I should preface this by saying this is not a fatwa, okay? This is not advice. But when I do a lot of halal, I instantly ruin it with a little bit of haram. It's horrible. It's like, it's like someone who's on a diet, you're like, yeah, I hate a salad, I'm so healthy. Ooh, chocolate donut. So anyways, point is, I was flirting with this girl, uh, and she was flirting back, surprisingly. Uh, and so, homegirl turns around and says, you look like a rock star. Me? Stop it. Stop it. And then she stopped flirting with me. 
Uh, no, that's not, that's not how I responded. I responded like a normal human being for once. I asked her, I said, why do I look like a rock star? She said, well, your long, greasy hair. Fair enough. Uh, your long, greasy hair and your badass beard. <sighs> and usually to put this into context, when a girl like even recognizes that I have a beard, I'm like, we can get married, you can have my kids. Like, that's it. <laughs> Oh, Thomas nice beard. Clearly a marriage proposal. Clearly. All right? Um, and she called it badass, which I never thought would happen. Uh, I trimmed. I shouldn't have done that, uh, by the way. So it was badass at the time. It's not anymore. So what I want to do is I want to go back to Texas now. I want to find those damn Pakistanis and those Mexicans. And I want to be like, guess what? Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. That was a cute. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. You guys were great. Enjoy the rest of the night.